The issues between John Cena and Austin Theory have continued to escalate week after week. Ever since losing to John Cena on back-to-back -back nights, Theory has made it his mission to conquer the franchise once and for all. The last number of weeks, the brawls have ensued on multiple occasions between these two competitors, and last Sunday night at Extreme Rules, they were two of five men competing in the Elimination Challenge for the WWE Championship. Things came down to Austin Theory and Edge when Theory shocked the world and walked away as the new WWE Champion. But because of John Cena's win over Edge on Saturday night's main event, he has been granted a one-on-one -on -one match with Theory, not only to settle the score, but to battle for the championship once again. It's the long-awaited SummerSlam rematch, but this time the stakes couldn't be any higher. Who is leaving the Music City, holding the most prestigious prize in the business today? Find out right now! It is main event time from the Music City. Nashville, Tennessee plays host to match number two in the John Cena Austin Theory rivalry. This time around, the most prestigious prize in the business today, the WWE Championship of the World is on the line. And what has been an exciting weekend for all involved in the WWE. Saturday night's main event, Extreme Rules. Now here tonight on Raw, nobody has had a busier weekend than this man right here. The franchise John Cena picked up the victory on Saturday night's main event against then WWE Champion, the rated R Superstar Edge. Of course, it was a non-title matchup, but Cena getting the job done and getting his hand raised in Portland on that night. Of course, at Extreme Rules, John Cena is one of five men in the five-man elimination challenge for the WWE title. Of course, Cena, excuse me, came up short. But in the end, Austin Theory and the Rated R Superstar Edge are final two in that contest. And I am still in shock at the result. But all day, Austin Theory walking away for the first time in his career as the WWE Champion. Cena, of course, with that win over Edge on Saturday night's mid event, earning this opportunity tonight. A chance to settle, settle the score with Austin Theory and also walk away with the WWE Championship. And here comes the man of the hour, the brand new WWE Champion. We called him the future of the WWE, but now that the gold is on the waist of that man, I think it's apropos to say that he is the now face of the WWE. All day, Austin Theory. I still cannot believe these words. You're a new WWE Champion. And Theory, suffering losses back-to-back -back nights to John Cena. First at SummerSlam, then in a tag team matchup the next night on Raw. Ever since then, Theory's been at the neck of John Cena trying to take him out, put him on the shelf, and get him out of his way. Cena looking to settle the score against Austin Theory for the attacks. Theory wants to settle the score against John Cena and finally prove that he can defeat the franchise. So these two men with their own personal vendettas, but what lies between them is the gold around Austin Theory's waist here tonight. It's a big fight feel on what has been an incredible night here on Monday Night Raw. The WWE Championship is on the line in a rare occurrence in your Raw main event. It's Austin Theory versus John Cena, one on one from the Music City. Let's get it started. Introducing the challenger from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! And introducing the champion from Atlanta, Georgia, Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Austin Theory. Austin Theory defending the championship for the very first time, but will night one as champion be the only night as champion? Could Theory's first defense be holding the championship and handing it over for the very first and last time? This is a very interesting main event matchup we have on deck for you. A lot of writing between these two men and the gold that is at stake. But it is time for your main event. 
The bell has sounded and we are underway. Cena Theory WWE Championship. And of course, the news that we found out before this matchup, starting next week here on Monday Night Raw, the WWE Championship Eliminator gonna take place. Four men with momentum as of late and victories in the win column. Randy Orton, RVD, Drew McIntyre, Mustafa Ali, those four men gonna compete in a bit of a mini tournament to decide who is gonna be the next challenger, or I should say a future challenger for the WWE Championship. Whether that be Austin Theory, John Cena, or whoever will challenge for the championship at Judgment Day. But of course, next week it's going to be Drew McIntyre taking on Randy Orton in the first matchup in the Eliminator two weeks from now. It's going to be Mustafa Ali taking on Rob Van Dam in the second match of the Eliminator. And the winners of those two matches are going to move on to Judgment Day, fight one-on-one -on -one in a number one contender's contest. And from there, we will determine a future challenger for the WWE Championship. So... A lot of opportunity rolling around in the WWE right now for all four of those men who have been nothing short of successful as of late. Mustafa Ali, the only one who has got a loss in recent history. Of course, that came at extreme rules, but the track record of Ali, definitely in the win column, win the loss ratio. Mustafa Ali knows how to get his hand raised here on Raw. Speaking of Mustafa Ali, what about last week here on Raw when he picked up the victory over that man in the ring right there, John Cena? So definitely all four of those men, when you like the actions of some of them, a.k.a. Randy Orton or not, deserving to be in that eliminator. But only one man is going to be a future challenger for the WWE Championship. So are they going to be Orton, McIntyre, RVD, or Ali? We're going to find that out over the next couple of weeks into the Judgment Day pay-per-view. And of course, we have our WWE Championship match on deck right now. But who is going to be the man defending the WWE Championship? At Judgment Day, Austin Theory or John Cena? And from what I understand, next week here on Monday Night Raw, we're going to find out who the number one contender is and who will challenge for the WWE Championship at the Judgment Day pay-per-view. So a lot of interesting news and exciting matchups coming up next week on Raw, leading into our next Universe Mode pay-per-view Judgment Day, which is already looking like it's going to be an extraordinary event. The finals of the Eliminator plus a WWE Championship match going to be signed for that pay-per-view. It's all going to kick off next week, but we focus on the here and the now. And that's the issues between John Cena and Austin Theory. Again, for Theory, his issue with John Cena has been not one but two losses. Theory wanted to prove that he was the future face of the WWE. He called out John Cena well before SummerSlam. John Cena accepted, made his return at the biggest party of the summer and knocked off Austin Theory. Well, it was a great matchup, and Austin Theory really didn't have nothing to be ashamed of on that night. He took the fight to John Cena. Just in the end, John Cena was the better man. And, of course, the next night on Monday Night Raw, we had ourselves a tag team matchup between John Cena and the Rated R Superstar Edge on one side of the ring, Austin Theory, and a tag team partner of his choosing, which ended up being the Colossal Omos on the under end of the ring. And of course, on that night, John Cena and Edge picking up the tag team victory over Theory and Omos. So Austin Theory suffering back-to-back -back losses to John Cena there. And ever since then, Austin Theory attacking John Cena, trying to take out the franchise. Kind of started with that after John Cena had a matchup on main event over the Colossal Amos. Cena picked up the win on that night. Theory jumping him afterwards, laying him out. Which then led us to a matchup on Monday Night Raw, which saw Austin Theory take on Mustafa Ali. John Cena sticking his nose in that match, delivering a chair shot to Fury. Really up in the ante. Talk about wanting revenge and laying out Fury on that night. Kind of aiding Mustafa Ali in victory on Monday Night Raw. And then last week here on Raw, Cena in the main event set to go one-on-one -on -one with Ali. But as Cena was making his way to the ring, Austin Theory running down the aisle, attacking John Cena from behind, issuing a beatdown on the franchise. Cena was able to fend him off for, after a few moments. But still, the attack and the damage was done. And Mustafa Ali ended up defeating John Cena. And hell, Cena already could have had a little damage done because of that attack from Theory. As Cena here is looking to get a little payback. Five knuckle shuffle on Austin Theory. And Cena going into the cover. Are we going to see a new WWE champion here 17 times? Not just yet. Here we get in the shoulder up, but that is the writing on this contest for John Cena and Austin Theory. The issues over the last month. And of course, both men were in the ring with each other on extreme rules. And Austin Theory outlasting John Cena in that matchup. Cena was eliminated by Edge. 
Austin Theory made it down to the final two with the Rated R Superstar and ended up walking out with the WWE Championship on that night. Austin Theory, call him what you wish. He may be the luckiest man in the world or he may be the future of the WWE. We talk about it every time Theory's in the ring. He may be cocky, he may be arrogant. He may not know when to shut his mouth, but he certainly has all the tools to get it done from bell to bell and he's proven that in the past. And sure, he hasn't gotten the job done over John Cena just yet. Hell, tonight could be that night. Only time will tell. But Theory's, at the end of the day, is the man with the gold right now. Is the face of the WWE as its champion. It's time to prove that and prove his worth. Here tonight on Raw, Theory laying out Cena there. Could be looking for the count at victory. As talented as Theory is, I don't put a pass in the look for a count at or any trying to... Any kind of way to get the job done in this contest, any means necessary for all day theory. Cena now continuing the fight on the outside of the ring, and theory going face first. Right down on the floor, and Cena issuing the beatdown. This is more than just about the WWE Championship for John Cena tonight. Of course, he wants to walk away with his 17th world title in the WWE. Of course, John Cena wants to do so. But he also wants payback on Austin Theory. Again, for not one, but two beatdowns. Issued over the last month. May, Cena, excuse me, may have evened the odds a little bit a few weeks ago here on Raw with that chair shot, but the ante was up last week on Raw, and of course with Theory walking out as the WWE Championship, I'm sure Cena felt a little extra disappointment, a little more of a sting at Extreme Rules. Theory back into the ring, Cena taking him down. Oh, and Theory going for the pump kick. Cena blocks it, goes behind. Cena going to use his strength, pick it up Theory here. And slamming him down on the canvas below. And Austin Theory eyeing up Cena. Where is Theory going? Theory's next to the announce table here. Theory was trying to exit through the timekeeper's area. I think he's trying to sneak up on Cena here. Theory can't put it past him. They're trying to use mind games and cheap tactics in this matchup over Cena. Cena going right after Austin Theory. Cena's been in there with some of the best, if not all the best. Cena's had some amazing moments and matches right here on Monday Night Raw. Remember the one-hour classic with Shawn Michaels in 2007? When Cena got drafted to Monday Night Raw in 2005. Go back to the year 2007 as well. John Cena was basically the WWE champion from January all the way up until an injury that cost Cena the gold. Cena is one of the faces of Monday Night Raw over the years, but Austin Theory trying to become the next face of Monday Night Raw. And Theory's beating down Cena on the outside here, and I'm sure now that Cena's down, Theory could be looking for a count-out victory, and an axe hammer takes down the franchise. And Theory back into the ring. Of course, the count's going to break. Cena back out there. Theory's following him. Now Theory go for the clothesline, but Cena with the hip toss on the outside of the ring. Man, like theory or not, that's going to hurt like hell. WWE Championship match continues here. Nice belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Cena going for the kick. Theory with the counter, and Cork screws that knee. And Cena fighting back. Back and forth we go, and this brawl on the outside of the ring here. And Cena throwing theory right into the announce table. The brawl continues on. All for the opportunity to walk out of Nashville tonight with the WWE Championship. Cena's down again. Theory rushing back to the ring. I believe Theory's looking for that count out victory over John Cena. Maybe Theory's in his own head. Maybe he believes that he can't beat John Cena. Again, two losses to the franchise. This match has been going for about 10 minutes or so. Theory yet to put John Cena away. 10-12 minutes was the length of their SummerSlam matchup. Maybe Theory's in his own head. Maybe he believes deep down, whether he wants to admit it or not, that he can't beat John Cena 1-2-3. Maybe he feels he's got to pull some underhanded tactics to be able to defeat the franchise here tonight. You hate to see it. And Austin Theory's got all the tools to get it done inside of the ring, but you talk about the cockiness and the arrogance and the mind games that Theory plays sometimes, and I don't put it past him to look for a win like that. But then you see him pull out shooting star presses and you clearly see that this man's got the talent in the ring. And now John Cena's in a predicament. And Cena could be out for the count. Austin Theory to the cover. Is Theory going to defeat John Cena here? 
And now Lucina gets the shoulder up, and Theory's got to be thinking after that, what the hell do I got to do to put Cena away? This is the third night in a row. John Cena's in action inside of that ring. It was a hellacious 15-minute matchup with Edge on. So wait, 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 wait a minute. Austin Theory, this is a singles matchup. This is not no DQ. Theory's going under the ring to grab a chair. Cena, however, making sure Theory can't pull any trickery with that steel chair. Oh, and Theory with a cheap shot there, and that chair may have just been there for distraction. And Cena's down. He's got to be feeling the punishment. As we mentioned, a 15-minute back-and-forth classic with Edge on Saturday Night's main event that he walked out the victor of. Of course, as a member of that five-man elimination challenge, we're going to Theory off the pump kick. This is going to be all. No, Theory get, or excuse me, Cena gets the shoulder up again. Now Theory heading back outside of the ring. Cena is dazed. He's got to be feeling the damage, feeling the punishment. Now Theory's going under the ring again. I can't imagine what the WWE Champion is looking for. He's pulling out a damn kendo stick. Cena again trying to make sure. Oh, Cena with a, a shot with that kendo stick. Referee's discretion. It looks like he's going to let this one go. He knows the WWE Championship's on the line. He knows the trickery Theory tries to pull. He knows Cena's just trying to watch himself in this matchup. Looks like Ref's going to let that one go. I don't expect that. It'll happen again here. With the opportunity that's on the line, referee giving a little leeway to these competitors right now. Gotta make sure this WWE Championship matchup doesn't end in disqualification. Nobody here in Nashville nor watching around the world wants to see that. In theory, again with that shooting star press. A move that that young man has perfected. And Cena's down in theory again is going back to the outside. And now he's headed towards the timekeeper's area. Cena coming at him. Oh, Theory, I believe, was just goating him in there. Theory just goating John Cena in and takes him down. And Cena's down and out. Where the hell is Austin Theory heading? He's got his eyes on the franchise yet again. Austin Theory is just trying to beat the hell out of John Cena here. Oh, wait a minute. No, not on the outside of the ring. Going for a powerbomb. Cena countering, though. Avoiding disaster right there. But still, the brawl here on the outside continues. This is not good for either man. Whether you like Austin Theory or not, it's Cena into the barricade. Cena's down. With Austin Theory again grabbing that chair. Now he's headed into the ring. And Cena could be risking count out, but for some reason, Theory has brought that steel chair inside the square circle. Cena back in, and Theory catches him with a drop kick. Referee getting rid of that chair. Theory again heading to the outside. And whatever Theory's plan is here, whether it's to get himself disqualified or distract the referee or simply frustrate John Cena, can't really tell if it's working or not, but Cena's going after Theory here. You know Cena wants to win this match fair or square. Cena can't win this match on account of disqualification. By technical terms, he can win, but he will not be leaving with the WWE Championship. And John Cena does not want to let this match an opportunity slip away from him. It ain't just about, as we mentioned, the WWE Championship tonight. It's about revenge over Austin Theory. As Theory is once again grabbing that damn steel chair. The kendo stick's still in the ring. Austin Theory trying to go out there. Cena, Cena tackling him down here. Go for the AA. No Theory counters. The brawl continues in the corner. Cena grabbing a hold. Look at this. Hurricane Rana from the franchise. Cena trying to put away Theory, trying to pull out different maneuvers in the arsenal. Theory's days. John Cena, however, could be looking for that you can't see me five knuckle shuffle yet again. Well, Theory getting to his feet. Cena knew to stop instead of stopping himself in his tracks. An elbow shot there. Why the hell does Austin Theory... Th oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at this. Referee taking the kendo stick away from Austin Theory, trying to make sure this match... It's smooth Salem there. Oh, and Cena slapping some respect into the young man. Theory, though, counters. Neckbreaker to the franchise. And Cena is down. Austin Theory's got to... He better put this match away soon because the more trickery he tries to pull, Cena's just going to get more frustrated. And I don't know if that's what Theory wants or not. Theory may think that's what's going to aid him as a frustrated Cena, but I think a pissed off, motivated, frustrated Cena is going to run over Austin Theory, especially how late we are in this contest with the WWE Championship on the line. 
Man, it's been an amazing night here on Monday Night Raw. A chaotic night to say the least. An awesome World Tag Team Championship matchup to kick us off. The Mysterios walking out still with the gold. Pete Dunne was set for a matchup against Jinder Mahal. Unfortunately for him, the surprise debut to the main roster of NXT's Tommaso Ciampa ambushing the Intercontinental Champion, laying him out on the stage and here in the ring, sending a message, presumably that he's heading for the gold. Now Austin Theory and John Cena battling out on this WWE Championship main event. We gotta be near in 20 minutes if we haven't hit it already. These guys are absolutely gotta be hitting exhaustion at this point. Gotta kick it into that another gear. If they wanna walk out with the WWE Championship Theory with that second rope elbow right to the sternum of John Cena here. And Cena's days, Theory. Oh, and another knockout shot to Cena. What does Austin Theory have in mind? Uh, once again, grabbing a hold. Could be looking. TKO. Straight to ATL. And I don't know if Cena's going to be able to get out of that move again in this contest. He does. How the hell is John Cena still in this matchup? You think about the exhaustion that's got to be setting in after three, state, three straight nights of action, excuse me, for John Cena. And how deep and deep we are in this contest. But Cena is still in this fight. He's gone the distance before. He's been in this situation before. Main event lights are no pressure for the franchise. Get a little of this. Five knuckle shuffle. And are we going to see a new WWE Champion? Moment of truth here, but Theory gets the shoulder up. And the match continues for the WWE Championship. And I think Cena's eyeing up Theory. He knows it's AA now or never. Oh, Theory with the counter. Oh, and Theory again. What a shot to the franchise player. And Cena's dazed. Austin Theory's got him up one more time. TKO. All day Austin Theory into the cover. And the third time is a charm. Wow, what a matchup in this main event. Austin Theory tried playing games, tried playing trickery and distraction, but in the end, he had to just go to his arsenal and pull out of his best maneuvers to defeat John Cena here tonight. Austin Theory gets the win he's been searching for, and the WWE Championship, whether we like it or not, remains with that young man right there. It's got to be a disappointing loss after a hard-fought weekend for John Cena. What is going to be next for the franchise? He fails to take home the WWE Championship tonight, and he fails to get his revenge over Austin Theory. But Pace on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Don't need no cap. I'm a rock.